Hello, my name is Frank Christensen and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFF in Europe. In today's training tape, we're looking at personal foul blindside block. So we'll look at, at what, is, what is a blindside block, how do we recognize it, uh, what can we live with, and what is too much for us to ignore. But before we get to the game film, let's have a look to see what the rulebook says on this topic. In the rulebook, we start with a definition in 237. And the blindside block is defined as a blindside block is an open field block against an opponent that is initiated from outside the opponent's field of vision or otherwise in such a manner that the opponent cannot reasonably defend himself against the block. And in 9-1-18, uh, the blindside block, it says, no player shall deliver a blindside block by attacking an opponent with forcible contact. And then there are two exceptions. One, the ball carrier or simulated ball carrier, and two, a receiver in the act of attempting to make a catch. And since the MOFO doesn't say anything specifically about these blindside blocks, let's have a look at some game film. In this first video, we're looking at, at the defensive back B11 here, right to the, to the right side of the screen. And he's going to get hit from the outside right there. So what we're looking for here is, is really right there. He's, he's not coming in with his, with his hands first to make it uh, a little softer and make it less forcible. What we're seeing is the defender uh, leaning in with the shoulder, uh, putting his upper body in in a forcible manner, putting weight behind it. That's really what we're looking for to make it forcible. Uh, so it's not it's not targeting, uh, it's shoulder to shoulder, but it is a blindside block. We've got both indicators here where the, uh, the defensive player is not looking for the block and has no chance to see the block. And the guy coming in, uh, delivering the blow it is coming in shoulder first and and putting weight behind it making it forcible so this is something that that we need to to catch uh now in the second play we're looking at the slot back who's going to come in here the run is going to go outside and right there boom so what we have here is, is certainly and uh a blindside block. I mean, the, the guy getting blocked doesn't see it at all. I do think it's shoulder to torso, uh, but again, we see this. Uh, we've got the uh, the hit E not seeing the hit and the hitter uh, almost crouching down, coming in with force and the shoulder. It's not like he's leading with the hands. It's not like he's just getting in the way. He's, he's, he's doing what he can to deliver a blow, and, and this is uh, it falls under the definition of forcible. So this is something that we need to call. And, you know, in this point, uh, in this situation here, uh, deep wing, probably not, but uh, back judge, maybe, umpire, maybe, uh, maybe even deep side, uh, backside uh, line of scrimmage officials could see this. It's certainly something that we, that we should see and that we need to see. Most of these blindside blocks are committed by offensive players or, or certainly, you know, the team in possession. And here we're looking at the defensive end closest to the camera. And as soon as the ball is, is intercepted, obviously he is now part of the team in possession. And here he just lines up uh, this unsuspecting O-lineman. And again, we have the same criteria uh, the hit E does not see the hit, has no chance to see the hit, and the hitter comes in with his shoulder, uh, forcible contact, uh, puts his weight behind it. You, you can also almost always see that you, the, the upper body is leaning in towards the hit to to get it more f or to give it more force. Uh, so this is certainly something that we need to see. And 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 who should see this? Well, in this situation. You know, the, the wing out here really should be uh, uh, shifting to, to blocks in front of the runner. 
uh, we've got a side uh, a center judge a referee should be seeing this guy coming across the grain uh, running the opposite direction from everybody else so this is certainly a, a personal foul, foul blindside block that we need to catch so on this play we're looking at the outside receiver not that he's going to deliver the hit but after this interception he's going to be the recipient right there and and, and we're seeing the same pattern here one is uh, the guy getting the hit or the hit E uh, doesn't see it coming his focus is somewhere else and typically you know a lot of times the hit will come from a, from a 90 degree angle from where he's he's looking and the second part is uh, the guy doing the hitting he's you know he's leaning into it making it forcible using his weight uh, to deliver a blow and uh, and making it forcible here you know for this to be legal at least uh, during current rules he would need to come in with his arms first or you know just get in his way instead of delivering this forcible blow so this is something that we need to catch and you know the umpire might be able to see it the uh, the short wing might be able to see this in, in any case this is something that we need to catch now